A coral restoration program is a very special project initiated personally by our owner. We aim to ensure the sustainable beauty of our island as well as the health of the Maldivian marine life. Nationally for future generations to come, including educating our colleagues and guests on the importance of our oceans. We are extremely proud of our accomplishments and the survival rate of the coral so far. In 2016, the project starts for real, so we start by building some nursery. We use mid-water nursery, they're floating uh, outside of the lagoon, about like 8 meters depth. So first we have to build them, so we use PVC pipe that we build on lens, and we're going to draw on them at the bottom, which is 30 meters, anchor them to some ropes, and then we will lift them up to 8 meters depth with some uh, jerry can filled with them. After that, the second step uh, for the nursery is to frag the corals. So we're going to find some loose colony um, around the reef. If we cannot find loose colony, then we're going to have to take only 10% of the colony uh, to make sure the colony will not die. And then we will frag small, tiny piece of corals, about like few centimeters, that we will attach on the rope, and then we will lay those ropes on the nursery. We will let them for nine months. During this time, we will do some monitoring to check the health and the growth of the corals. And after nine months, the next step will be to transplant the coral back onto the reef. So for that, we're going to collect the corals, which can be approximately about 10 centimeters. They are strong enough, they are healthy enough to be transplanted. And we will use some marine cements and put eight coral per meter square or along a transect around the reef. So as per now, after five years, we have been transplanted over 7,000 uh, colonies and it's about 1,000 meters square around the reef, which is over 10% of the reef, which is pretty nice. And the survival rate is over 95% on the nursery during these nine months and over 70% after one year and a half and over 60% after three years. So it's a great success. Uh, we are really proud of our project. On our house reef, we use mainly the genus called Posilopora, which is a branching coral. So we use this genus to increase the abundance, which is the first step in order to help the reef to recover from some disturbance. Because those coral will build the reef, and then after the marine life, could come and like the fish would go use the corals as a shelter to hide and to be protected from predators for example. For the future, um, what we would like to do is to stabilize our reef because unfortunately around the island there is a lot of coral shifting so it means from the top of the reef they would shift down to the bottom. So our poaching is doing really well and a lot of people are actually asking us uh, how could they help us to improve the reef and give a hand for the corals to recover. What we're doing on the island is we do have a coral adoption program. So the guests can join us. Uh, they will adopt a rope with 10 fragments. They will choose a name because the corals will belong to them. It will help us to attach the coral on the rope, measure them, check the health, and they will join us on the house reef to put first the rope on the nursery and have a look uh, how looks the reef after we transplant them. Uh, every six months we will give them some update and they can join us and come back again on the island and go into the water with us to check how their babies are doing. Um, it's a really nice thing to do uh, if you want to participate and it's also um, providing some awareness and educational parts, so it's really nice for the kids to join this program.